My business partner, Adam, doesn't drink water. Never has, never will. To him, Coke No Ice is its own food group. He doesn't like hamburgers. He likes McDonald's Little Hamburgers, no onions. He doesn't like Mexican food. He likes Taco Bell. Chicken soft tacos, plain. And he doesn't like fried chicken. He likes KFC. That's where this begins. <laughs> when he's not writing screenplays with me and our partner Charlotte, much like a modern day Ben Braddock in The Graduate, Adam works for his father-in-law's plastics company in a far off land called Silmar. <laughs> where the Koi 118 and the Shy 210 make sweet, sweet love <laughs> in a fabulous freeway interchange, kissed by the shadow of the Angeles National Forest for all the world to see. <laughs> Once a week at 1 p.m., usually Tuesdays, I sprinkle in the wondrous 170 and drive a combo platter of all three freeways, all the way from Studio City to Silmar, <laughs> to join Adam for our traditional weekly lunch that's been on the menu for years. Across the Foothill Boulevard from the Plastics Company, in the curious expanse of the Home Depot slash Sam's Club parking lot, <laughs> where surprisingly often there's a car on fire. <laughs> Our carousel of luncheon choices are as follows. Subway, Yoshinoya Bowl, Taco Bell. Someone stole the soft tacos right off his tray there one time and they still haven't caught them. <laughs> Pollo Loco, Quiznos, McDonald's, a weird sushi gyro mashup called Crazy Goody. We only tried once because it was crazy, but not so goody. A poo poo platter of various nations, all wrapped up in the from time to time aptly named Chinese restaurant Asian Tasty. And the standard top to bottom neighborhood Kentucky Fried Chicken. And though the loco chicken pops his lunatic Mexican beak into the lunchtime fray from time to time, like so much Yankee horse trading, the only comestible common ground Adam and I can often agree upon for lunch is the curb. <laughs> I like fried chicken. Even at Miami Beach's historically iconic Joe's Stone Crab, even if I wasn't allergic to shellfish, which I am, I always order their humorously inexpensive a la carte fried to perfection fried chicken because it's magnificently delicious. I'm a big fan of fried chicken, no matter whose army it fights for. Our KFC meal is followed by Discussions of the second act of our current screenplay, the latest episodes of You're the Worst, and MTV's 413th season of The Challenge, how Adam's son Reese is doing in gymnastics, and the usual twists, turns, and seasonal tumult of high-stakes fantasy football. <laughs> then it happens. Not long into every lunch, we are abruptly, rudely, and unceremoniously interrupted by the shrill screaming and nightmarish wailing of the chairs. <laughs> the horrible metal chairs sliding across the tic-tac-tile floor of the local Silmar KFC. <laughs> In the movie Manhattan, Woody Allen describes the horrible noise coming from his neighbor's apartment, like someone sawing a trumpet in half. <laughs> as far as what these horror chairs sound like when they're moved, sawing a trumpet in half is a start. 
Sure, we forget about it for a while, but it only takes one person getting up to refill their Dr. Pepper, <laughs> grabbing another stack of napkins, another packet of butter for their fluffy biscuit, <laughs> and the metal chairs dragging back and forth, squealing across the chalkboard tile floor, immediately reminds us of the horror. <laughs> We hate those fucking chairs. <laughs> if there was only some way, some miraculous way to silence the hideous screams of Colonel Sanders' wicked, hateful metal death chairs. If only then, late one night, in between episodes of Hogan's Heroes and Perry Mason, like a commercial straight from God, I see an ad for chair pads that can stop the noise. www.buyfurniturefeet.com At our next lunch, I tell Adam. He immediately researches them on his phone and tells me that this very product is just across the parking lot on the shelf at the Home Depot. <laughs> Each time we pay for lunch at our KFC and they give me the receipt, there's a survey I always fill out in exchange for a free chicken snack on my next visit. www.mykfcexperience.com Soon I begin including thoughts in the surveys, such as, don't the screams of the metal chairs bother the courteous staff of the Foothill Boulevard KFC? Go to the website, www.buyfurniturefeet.com and find the answer to the evil noisy chairs with these inexpensive and easy to install chair pads. They're also just across the parking lot at the Home Depot. Look out the window, Colonel Sanders. Just across the parking lot, Home Depot, pads for the horrible chairs. No matter how many surveys I fill out, like Clarice and her unfortunate lambs, I cannot silence the screaming of the chairs. By now, it's Christmas 2016, and though our KFC has stockings all hung by the trash cans with care, the sad cry of the chairs still hangs in the air. That's when our plan is hatched. We count the chairs in the restaurant, 50, and multiply it by four legs. That's 200 chairs. 200 pads. While I'm away on a trip to Miami, Adam buys the chair pads at the Home Depot. When I get back, we'll give them to our Foothill Boulevard KFC as a very special Christmas present, just like in the Bible. <laughs> After several back and forth email drafts from Los Angeles to Miami, it includes a little softening of Adam's eviction notice-esque phrases, including, we have continually complained, and since no action has been taken, we finally agree upon this holiday note. Adam? Uh, dear Foothill Boulevard KFC, as frequent customers of your restaurant, we are always grateful for your hospitality we receive from your employees. We fill out the surveys on our receipts and very often give high marks in all categories. <laughs> One element of our regular afternoon lunches here that we've continually pointed out that really detracts from the dining experience is the very loud screeching noise from the slightest movement of the chairs. <laughs> to help in addressing this situation, to improve the work atmosphere, and so patrons can enjoy dining at your location even more, please accept this gift of enough belt pads to cover the bottom of every chair leg in the restaurant. 
Apply them at your earliest convenience and listen to how much nicer it can be inside your KFC right away. Thanks again and happy holidays. <laughs> Adam even adds that festive color Christmas wreath clip art at the bottom. That's a lovely holiday touch. Thank you, Adam. You're up. When I'm back from Florida, I drive up to Silmore. For lunch, Adam is waiting for me in the parking lot. He's holding a small cardboard box, compliments of the plastic company shipping department, with an envelope taped on top. Damn! I thought he was going to gift wrap it! But he didn't! It'll have to do! There's no turning back now! <laughs> we walk in, we order, we finish our $5 fill-up meals, complete with cookie and drink. Someone moves a screeching chair on their way out. Our eyes meet. Other than the two of us, the restaurant is empty. We walk to the counter. We ask to see the manager. <laughs> Our hearts beat faster than we could have ever imagined. Adam hands the box to the manager, and suddenly we're chicken. What if she's offended? What if we have to find another KFC? What have we done? We don't wait for her to open it. We wish her a shaking Merry Christmas and speed walk to our cars. We scurry, scurry like a couple of chickens with their heads. Well, you know. We drive our separate ways and wait. Christmas and Hanukkah come and go. A week into the new year, on a Tuesday, I meet Adam in the parking lot of our Foothill Boulevard KFC. Did they put the pads on the chairs? Or didn't they? We walk inside. Adam tests a few chairs, and still the chairs are screaming, Clarice! <laughs> Adam is extra crispy pissed. <laughs> I implore him, keep it together. Before we say anything, let's finish our chicken first. But he wants answers, and he wants them quick served. We inhale our lunch. Adam asks to see the manager. Within moments, she's standing at our table, smiling over my shoulder. Adam's and my eyes lock in. He opens his mouth to unleash his own original recipe of anger. When the manager beams, thank you so much for the chair pads. That was so nice of you. We put them on an hour after you left. They didn't fit every leg but they fit some and really helped with the noise. She slides a few chairs we hadn't tried yet to demonstrate. And lo and behold, those chairs were quite quieter. They were quieter. <laughs> Watching his anger turn to an earnest smile was as delicious as the chocolate chip cookie in our $5 fill. <laughs> and that cookie never tasted so sweet. Epilogue. <laughs> <laughs> During our next KFC lunch, the manager appears at our table again. She tells us, I passed your letter along to corporate. They said they never received one like it before. <laughs> They're getting new chair pads that fit every chair in the restaurant. And they're going to paint them all, too, to make them as nice as can be. <laughs> then, with the sweetest smile possible, she tells us, we never really noticed the chair noise before you two pointed it out. <laughs> But it's nice the colonel is going to fix it. <laughs> then she walks away. Our work here is done. <laughs> now on to Yoshinoya Bowl, Clarice. <laughs> they need our help there too. They just don't know it yet. <laughs>